Welcome back my friends, I'm the homeless host Hobo Pew. Um, I'll apologise for the week's delay, I actually went home over the summer before I start university again on the 1st of September. And that's why there's not been a video out every day. But we're back, he's commented that we've been away for a while and let's just jump right in. The rats? What, why? Why would you say that? Ah, uh, Jack of Plague. Three rat men hunting and three angry mobs are going to be placed into our deck. Toys to fall. The player loses five gold for every fail and ten gold for every huge failure chance. You certainly like using ands, don't you, rather than commas. Yeah, we'll just use recommended. It's been good for us so far. I don't know the cards well enough. If I ever did a second run of all the dungeons, perhaps I'd know and go into the details. Um, if you are curious to see what is in our possible for our deck or for what cards we have, please let me know. And I shall use it on the next video. Hopefully the audio is a bit better now. Yes, um, again, I've been fiddling with the audio settings, as always. Until we find a right balance, I won't know. But we'll know when we get there. So, of course, our friend here shuffles the decks. We've got our normal 10 gold, 20 food, and 100 health. Let's move on. And straight away, we've got goblins robbing us. 10 gold and 1 food, it seems. One night, we awake and find our belongings were being rifled through by goblins. As soon as they notice us staring, they run away. They've stolen some of your food and gold. Well, we haven't got a powerful weapon, a good shield, or anything else. But good thing they don't fight back. Three goblins. They'll never learn. Why can't they be like Mr. Lionel, get the fabulous moustache and help us? Moustache. Let's skip this and get right into it. So we need to get these before they... Yep, just keep slapping at him, as always. So that's one down. We need to keep an eye out for the... Uh... We didn't have a shield before. Where's that come from? So it looks like it takes nine hits to defeat each of these. There he is hiding over there. I haven't tried yet, but... Uh, on one of the runs that was lost, they did start to blow a whistle. And I imagine if they blow that whistle, they get the, some of the portals that come with one of the um, dialogue options. And that's how they get off with your food and gold. But we've come away with even more gold and a bit more food. Well, not as much food, in fact. We still lost one. With the goblin threat dealt with, you continue on our way. Let's go to the right here. A river. Now, good, we're wearing light armor, so we could get a huge success here. We're looking for this one, the huge success. We've yet to have one. A choice. Select your I like number three. I just... Yes! The first huge success. Brilliant. Your light armor makes crossing easy, and when you stop to die for something... Sh you, you even stop to die for some shiny stones in the riverbed that may fetch a few coins. One gold gain card. Excellent. Twenty right off the bat. I'm sure you agree. Yeah. And we get an extra card token there. Brilliant. And the helpful priest. He's always friendly. We got a great blessing from him before. Uh, we will give the priest half our food. For a small share of your provisions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. Wow, I wonder if we can get another huge success. Three was good to us last time. Let's try four. Oh, it would have been three. Uh, well, at least our good fortune continues. We give priest half our food and he says, he says in a few words of the language and old religion and gently touches our forehead, it is done. We gain one blessing card. Will of the gods, this is new. Oh good. Nah, sorry, don't worry about it. At the start of each combat, a random opponent is highlighted. If that creature is the first to die, then it pops out five gold, which the make, player may collect. Brilliant, it's a good thing we didn't get this on the uh, last run. Because gold made us slower. You say our, but you keep remember, reminding me that, you know, you want us dead. 
but we embark on the next leg of our adventure. Each of these cards is crafted from your memories and built from your experience. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them move. Interesting. Oh, an angry mob is this? Yeah. That's what makes them a mob. Really, I I never knew. As you approach a small town of Witchburn, an angry mob of peasant marches forth and confronts us. The rat men have eaten all our food. We're starving. We demand food. We can't really give them half. We'll be good for the first one. We offer to share half our food with the peasants. They gather around to see your offering. This isn't even enough to feed the children, someone cries. A fight breaks out amongst the peasants and you leave the scene. Well, we might actually find out what happens. Oh, brilliant. We can, because the Elf Maiden will give us supplies. We had a new option there to be blessed, but we don't need it. Three food. Well, we almost... Yeah, we... Oh, even. We got... Yeah, we're doing well now. We're doing fine. A call for the priest, which we don't need. We shall just move on in the shade... Pass on the shady grove of the beaten trail. We don't need another blessing. We have nothing to sell. We could buy more food, but I like to chance it. And Mr. Lionel, of course. And, as we know, he's asking to help us. After prodding us painfully on the shoulder, My name is Mr. Lionel. If I give you what I need... If you give me what I need, boy, I'll conjure up your heart's desires. We'll ask him what he wants. Because we don't need to gamble, and we gain a shield. Oh, wait, what? Is... Does it change? Did I miss something? Mr. Lionel reaches behind your ear and pulls out a money bag, heavy with coins. Magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. Four gold gain cards. Well, so ten gold. Twenty-five gold. Sixty-five gold. A uh, hundred and ten, altogether. Wow. Wow. We shall meet again, the goblin suddenly declares, and then he strides confidently out the back of the tavern. He didn't steal our pickled onion. Well, I'll be damned, I'll just have to not rush through the next one. <laughs> this game is always giving something new. <coughs> Indeed. So we've got a new exit card, the forest escape. Let's take the forest path. And we embark on our next leg of adventure. Well, I'm actually talking quite a lot, so you might want to get your ears checked. Um, anyway, moving swiftly on. Uh, we have the Rat Men hunting. So is this the last leg of this journey? Who knows? Four Plague. So Plague will be the Rat Men. Dust of the Bandits. And... I can't remember what the Undead were. Well, we've got a new arena either way. Got a light armor, a rusty axe. No shield, so we can't counter, so we'll have to pay attention. And you know what I'm like. Oh! Oh, my dodging is off point today. No, 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 no! Oh, he double shot the bugger! Right then. You want to play that game? I'll play that game. I don't mind playing that game. Bloody rat man. You're never going to get me. And Dunzord. Into the fiery torch with you. Oh. We need that shield. You recover some food from the rat carcass. The dealer draws one food. I'm not sure I want them really. I mean, if rat men have been eating it, you know what they're... Oh, Still, three food's always helpful. And we did the right thing by helping the angry mob. <sighs> Four more. This might be a struggle. Oh. Oh, is this a new new area? I believe it is. We ideally need another... Oh, I've not been paying attention to the... We have the blessing of the highlight, don't we? 
So it's the one that actually bleeds gold. Interesting. Oh, did he hit them? Did he hit his friend? We did a lot better that round. Whew. These rat men are no joke. Any smart ass comment? No? Okay, cool. Three food, straight up. So at least we're regaining what we've lost. A dead king's hall, it's been a while since we saw this. I'm not sure the dead fighting back makes this any more dignified. See an ancient ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but it will surely be guarded. By three bandits who have been buffed since we won the thing and one skull. Or two skulls, sorry, which have been buffed as well. Well, we either go out, you know. Ah, so it's three and four last time. Oh, should stick with my gut. We took to take them by surprise, but we are spotted on the approach. Oh, <laughs> we need that. Oh, this may go badly. This this may be the first loss. All right then. <sighs> Oh, of course, I've got throwing knives now as well. Wrap in, would you? Oh, we've got traps. Stage hazards. It's all going wrong. Ah, oh, dodge that, you bugger. Well, at least the stage hazards help me as well as hinder me I like how they get a bit more damage we've lost a bit of skull on that one we lost an arm on the other and a kick to the stomach 61 health remaining Jesus we took a beating Oof. I've got a knot in my stomach three game cards at least armor of gold oh, no, I'm taking the shield Need that shield. <coughs> Every third encounter does not use food. That's always good. Three more food as well. And 20 more gold. If we had a merchant. That'd be, that'd be grand. Speaking of. Beautiful. We will go into this one. And we will. Oh, Greetings traveller. Wise traveller. I have much to offer you. I wonder if he can heal us. Heal wounds. 10 elf or 15 elf for 10. You know, use a couple of these. Why would you say that? Like, what prompts that? Alright, we've got a new item here. Scavenger's cap. When the player gains food, they'll receive 45 extra. Alright, yeah, we'll have that. Fleet cuffs. Increase our movement speed. Explorer's helmet's always good. Well, I keep thinking exit, escape is to is to do the thing. But we'll buy some more food, as I don't think we'll get another shot. And our gold certainly does not continue, and I have to stop pressing escape to get back. Alright then, we're all geared up. We still don't have a new weapon or better armour. But I don't think this will be the boss. Did not think so. We found a friendly traveller willing to let us ride in his wagon. Let's hitch a ride. And the uh, old Boston song would say. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. A new land. And of course, you don't believe your own lies. The Crucible. It's a new card, ladies and gentlemen. I keep thinking he's going to pull some candy out of there or something. The town of Stiedgal sits upon the only safe crossing of the River Ernst. However, the only adventurer is allowed to cross are those who pass through the Crucible. In the Crucible, you'll fight monsters for the entertainment of the townspeople of Stiedgal. What will you do? We could swim across the river. We've got light armour. We can grab the mail, we've got plenty of gold. 
let's fight. Let's do, let's do what we're here to do. Choose your opponent wisely, yells the man from the crowd. I'm betting on you! Well, if we get to choose, I'm going to choose the two dust. I don't know why you'd... More gold! Always welcome. And swiftly dealt with. We're back on form now, we can counter. You survived that round, now do it again. The crowd awaits your decision. I'll go with the four dust because we don't have a blunt weapon to deal with the skelly gogs. And they also have shields so they can block. Oh, I pressed Q, you bugger. So that must be to, uh... Ah, I don't know how to do that one. It's not a typical counter request. But at least it tells me that they're aiming for me. <clears throat> well, we put a more ashore there. Four against one. For this entertained crowd. Call us Maximus Marilius. After surviving the crucible, you are paraded through town, allowed to continue upon your adventure. A few random peasants throw a coin, saying, You made me rich, warrior! The dealer draws four gold gain cards. The token is now yours. Fifteen. Thirty. Um, Forty. My math failed me there. Sixty. Out from that. <coughs> Make up for that. Another angry mob, but we have plenty of food this time, so we will give them half our food. Look at all this food! An old man cries. Bless you, boy, you've saved our village. And we get a blessing. For your first chance card pick. Ah, oh, brilliant. The recheck. Always good. Ooh, a local peasant. This one's new. While crossing a forest clearing, you meet a peasant woman. Greetings, stranger. No winter has been hard on my family this year. In the forest behind her, you sense movement. In exchange for some food, I'll tell you everything I know about this land. Go on, then. Do a fire food. The takes your food eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush out from the forest, hands outstretched. You've given us food to survive the winter, stranger. She retrieves a sack from behind a bush. This was my husband's before he died. Please accept it as thanks. And we gain the token. A mess. Excellent. We will have it. Perfect. Indeed for bludging the dead. While the children eat, the woman speaks of length of what she has learned and heard recently. Treasure chest and a travelling jeweller. Ooh. Let's go check out the treasure chest, as always. Hop back. Hop back. While exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. Approach the treasure hall chest. Two successes, two failures. 50-50. Go large or go home. <coughs> Redraw. Where were they? I'm going to go with three. Three is my number. Three is my number. And of course, when I willingly choose it... Tend to escape the gas. One chance of success, one huge failure, and two normal failures. Come on, three. I'm going to stick with three. I have to, yeah, you know. And again, reshuffled, might as well. Thank you for paying off. You dive through the billowing clouds to reach the other side safely. You approach the treasure oh, chest. The treasure lo chest looks battered but still intact. What treasure might it hold? course, three successes and a failure. Yep, I'll stick with that. I'm not going to redraw for a failure, that's for bloody sure. After a mighty heave, the lock gives way and the spoils are ours. Four game cards, one equipment. Chains of Rage. We don't need cooldowns. I'll take it only because it's medium. 
Yeah, I'm not really happy about it, but we've got tons of gold. And out of three, we get to choose one. Huge hammer. A huge hammer, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, go on then. 35 damage, Jesus. Well, that's a straight up 8 damage increase, and the more consecutive attacks we gain, we can unleash a force explosion. Like some sort of Jedi. But rather than escape the forest, we are going to turn back briefly and buy some more food, hopefully, from the travelling jeweller. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, we spot them. Might as well check out the more equipment we don't understand yet. In we go. Let's buy some food straight up. Let's buy two lots. Keep using double digits, you never know. Healer's ring. Whenever the player receives healing, they also gain one gold. Don't need. Yeah. Let's combat. What is this? We could have won this. All weapon attacks are enhanced with a powerful poison that taints the lick. <laughs> yes. Poison. Oh. That it may be, but it helps me, and I'm no traitor. Let's buy some more food, just to make sure if we have to halve our food again, we can... I mean, it's not like we're, you know, itching for gold. Well, of course, the more food we have, the larger half of it becomes... We shall continue. Uh, uh, ooh. Beset by bandits. Five of them. It's nice to see that our um, blessings seem to stack. But I also imagine that... Uh, oh! Oh, he blocked it. The bugger. Oh, I'm not paying enough attention here. It's nice to know that this huge hammer actually slows us down. Not movement speed, but attack speed. Significantly lower. One game card so we defeat our bandits. 15 health. So we gain back what we lost, essentially. I can. Of course, though, this means that one way is going to get found. Smuggler's Wolf! Excellent. We started the first of this the first time. On the uh, on the last one. Norwich Port is little more than wooden planks sticking out over water. It is a den of inequity, visitors, and inquiries. And obviously, you're not welcome. We spend our time getting acquainted with workings of the wharf, looking to, for avenues to gain information. You have found three ways you might find out about the missing ships. Steal some logs, bribe a worker, or help Captain uh, drown his sorrows. Let's drink with the captain. In what passes for a bar in the shanty town, <coughs> you find a ship's captain drowning her sorrows. They must be frightful sorrows because she's drowning them in dol dolcian brandy. Oof. Put the still next to her, and while inquiring about her misfortune, attempt to find out what she may know about the missing boats. You can tell the captain knows something, but she's not parting with it yet. However, she seems pleased to have the company. Let's drink more. Let's get rat assed You'll gulp down another small glass of terrible, terrible brandy. The captain is merry and regales you with stories of her adventure upon the high seas, but nothing regarding the recent board disappearings. You're feeling the effects of the powerful dull skin brandy, but you still have your wits about you. Well, I think we should drink a bit more then. Gulp down another small glass. In drunkenness, the captain reveals far too much about herself, yet sadly nothing about the missing ships. You are lost in your fuzzy, warm haze of drinking. You don't notice a local pickpocket retrieve some of your gold. That's fine. We'll drink some more. Oh. So now we're just, yeah, we're wasting our time here. Bugger. What a waste. Perhaps we'll come across it again. Desert Storm. Uh, 
Oh yes, the Queen of Dust. You are travelling through the desert when a dust storm approaches. You may be able to reach safety and some nearby hills before the storm. In the name of Iron Maiden, run for the hills. Come on, three. Yes! Three ping out. You reach the hills before the dust storm arrives. The card token is ours. Damn right. A winding trail. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking your way ahead. Dealer draws one monster card. Oh, we get boss battles again. Uh, sorry, uh, I got distracted there. My mind just went a complete blank. Uh, weapons bristle from the trees around you. Their wielders face them skewed by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten me. The Jack of, uh, Jack of Dust should remember us and how we fight. Let's skip and just get right into this. Oh, I dodged right into that, you bugger. Whoop. Not twice. Screw you and your throwing knives, sir. Let's see what this does. Boom! Stunned and dunned. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You set your bodies for loot and two gain cards are ours. Select one to keep. Two new cards, angel wings. And with reflection, I feel this will be the better option considering we keep do not dodging projectiles. Yep. And five food. I imagine this will be the boss. Oh, I didn't read his thing out. I am terribly sorry. Can we, can we go back? I want to read his thing. We might get it at the end. If not, I shall add a little bit on the end to read the description. If I can find it, of course. Oh, he does look buggery, doesn't he? Right then. Tama time, motherfucker. Let's deal with your boys first. Oi! I thought you had a helmet with reflection! Oh, you bell end. So there must be a button to, uh... What is, it? is it E, maybe? Let's poison him. Well, that fight was fairly easy, as we've defeated him. Oh, that, I'm not sure I like that helmet look, though. Looks like sort of a... a uh, reject. Well, we're not done here. We're not done. We have three cards to do. Or perhaps that's our choice. Ring of Survival, we gain. We didn't do too well here in terms of rewards, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A noble Trader, a Wife's Fury, and a Lone. Interesting, new cards. We had a draw two, keep one, which is the same as a draw three, but... Uh, map, draw three, inspect and put back. The Great Helm of Reinforcement. I think I should take my time more, though. Maybe that's the problem. 
So we get lost in the desert. That's a new card. Oh, that doesn't look like fun. There's Rod of Feet and Ratman Jack. Berserker Armor, that sounds fun. Scorching Zeal, that sounds awesome. The Culling of the Ratman. King of Dust. Devil's Carnival. And Embertown Hero. And another reward for defeating the Ratman. Ratman Hunting. Ratman Hunting. Ratman Hunting. All goody goody gumdrops. So let's see if I can find that. Uh, Ratman description? Possibly? Possibly? No? I can't. Wait, ooh, law, that might be it. Here is a beast who hates your kind and has grown fat with evil That hate, uh, with that hatred. Jack of Play will kill you and suck the marrow from your bones. It's not the law. It's not the law I was looking for, but fortunately that's the best we'll get. I'll promise to take my time from here on out. But my friends, I have been your homeless host, Hobo Pew. Thank you for joining me and I shall see you next time round for another Hand of Fate.